Next, I would like to welcome the president of the embedded sector at Advantech, Mr. Miller Zhang, to talk about edge computing and wise edge in action. Let us welcome Mr. Zhang. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon. I am Miller Zhang from Advantech. I'm very honored to be here at the AI Next Forum. This is a very important topic in recent years, edge AI and robotics. Originally, these are two separate technology, edge computing combined with AI becomes edge AI and its relevant application. The other topic is the in emerging industry, robotics. When these two intersect, they drive a big growth in both industries in terms of the application and innovation of robotics. So that is basically the summary of what I want to talk about today. When we talk about edge AI, I want to first share with you the process from edge computing to edge AI. Many years ago, we were still at the age of edge 1.0. At that stage, each device works in isolation. Each device deliver one task. About one to two decades ago, AIoT was launched. So that's when we moved into Edge 2.0. We started to see Edge to Cloud. You send data to the cloud, and the data turns into inside and then feed into the edge device. So the intelligence at this stage stays on the cloud. But in recent years, in the past two to three years, we are seeing stronger AI. We are starting to see edge computing and edge AI. Each edge AI device is a smart device which can make decision, compute, and execute. These edge devices um, connect and collaborate with each other. They combine AI and IoT and drives the growth of the AIoT industry. Survey by, a, by Market US told us that by 2032, Edge AI will reach 143.6 billion US dollars of market size. And factories, automotive, and medical uh, healthcare industries are the main market for Edge AI. The real business opportunities, however, I believe is much bigger than this. And Edge AI can be very quickly introduced into many different industries. Here are some examples. You see robotics, you see scenarios in healthcare, scenarios in manufacturing and smart cities and different other different industries. Let me name a few examples. For example, humanoid robots will reduce a, a task, reduce labor costs, and AMR are already applied in warehouse transportation. And the uh, use of drones in agriculture, for example, is very popular. Moving on to healthcare, now with AI technology, we are able to identify medical images in much better position. New surgical robots are now being deployed in many hospitals. Smart cities is another popular scenario. For example, self-checkout, urban security, AI-based inspection, um, and also smart transportation monitoring are all areas where AI and edge AI have been deployed and introduced. So this is not AI next. This is what's happening right now. The second 
key area that my speech will touch upon is robots. Within Avon Tech, we has uh, we have established a unit called Autonomous System and Robotics, short for ASMR. This business unit is to serve the robotics industry. Actually, about three decades ago, uh, three decades ago, the automation uh, of manufacturing started to include robotic arms. The main purpose of the robotic arms is to improve productivity and replace a certain part of human labor. And then we started to saw AGV, uh, aut uh, automated guided vehicle, robotic arm, AMR, patrol robots, and also service robots in warehousing, in retailing, in restaurants, you are starting to see service robots. And the most popular type of robot in recent year is, of course, the humanoid robot. Therefore, this industry, I believe, is developing rapidly, and it's worth uh, our attention. This is from another survey on global market. Also, by 2032, it is expected that uh, this market, robotic markets, will grow by 16% annually. Here we listed several areas of robotics, and the bottom two, the collaborative robots and the humanoid robots, are the ones that will grow the fastest. Uh, all, both of them will grow at nearly around 30%. But in application and market share, the, the ones taking the most share out of the top three, AMR, robot arms, and service robots. Again, service robots are often used in warehousing, in service industry. It's installed very quickly. So these numbers tell us that we are now at a turning point where uh, the growth of robotics market will go up rapidly. Therefore, to serve this industry, we establish a program called Building Blocks for Robotic Solutions. We see the installation or the deployment of robots in modules. So on your left-hand side, you see first decision-making. This is where HAI will play a big role. It represents the brain of the robots. It can on connect to um, voice recognition, text recognition, different types of LLM, and so on. And it will need to combine uh, sensing technology on the right-hand side, like a camera, communication sensors with 5G, and perception sensors, and like LiDAR, and motion controllers, and so on. All those modules need to be combined and utilized so that the uh, robots can move by itself. And more importantly, combining decision-making, sensing, and uh, motion control is the key to ensure that the robot will continue to learn and con continue to operate as expected. The building block that we provide are these. First, the edge AI, which is, again, the brain of the, of the robots. As you can see on the chart, there are many platforms. We work with um, chip makers. We work with um, GPU, CPU vendors to provide a variety of platforms. For example, the uh, uh, socket module uh, or the in car insert modules for GPU and CPU, or the recent uh, the GPU integrating MPU model. So you don't need to uh, modify the system. You just need to change the CPU, and you will immediately be upgraded to a platform that it enables edge edge computing. 
So these platforms can be customized based on specific industry. It can be customized based on your performance requirements. Regular Edge AI board and regular Edge AI server plus software for specific industry. We can come up with um, customized industry specific solution. Talking about software, let's come back to software for robotic. That's where we that's why we offer this robotic suite for uh, rapid development of robotic applications. There are a few key points in our suite. First, it uh, can support multiple silicon vendors and uh, AI robot SDK, including uh, Intel, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm's SDK. They're all pre-integrated into the solution. Secondly, we offer a graphic user interface so that our client and our users can quickly use uh, these integrated um, components. And the third feature, which is also the most important one, is our standardized sensor node. Which including uh, which includes the motion sensor, the uh, perception sensors, they are all integrated into our robotic suite. So robotic suite will work with uh, Advantex Edge AI platform, and together they will enable you to deploy your robots very quickly. This is also an example with Techman, uh, as uh, Professor uh, Dr. Hong said. Uh, a Techman is a Taiwan famous Taiwanese uh, robot manufacturer. Uh, we call this program. Uh, uh, we together develop Cobot, collaborative robot. There are a few key technology included in here. Apart from the arms, it we also include a vision capability. So this is a defect inspection system of a factory. Now with Edge AI, these applications are actually being deployed in factories now. The key pillar of my speech today is Edge AI plus robotic. Our goal is to enable and realize a robotic industry with Edge AI. And there are four ways we can do this. First, we will continue at Avantech provide uh, AI and edge computing products so that AI will become a standard component in edge computing. Secondly, we will help to continue integrate more sensor modules. Take the uh, Techman robot, for example. You include vision and robotic arm. You can also include uh, acoustic capability to the robots to give the robot a better capability. The third way we will help with uh, our partners is on the software side, providing the robotic suite so that uh, your robot system can be realized and deployed much faster. And the last way, the last approach that we can help you with is on safety. All application must meet ISO certification, and that's where we can come in to help. This is my final slide. This ecosystem requires a lot of partners to work together. You can see I put a lot of logos of companies here from uh, chip makers, sensor makers, wireless modules makers, software developers, and associations and also systematic developers. They are all listed here. Avantech is also very honored to invite all of you to join us in developing better Edge AI to make Edge AI a reality. And this concludes my presentation. Sorry, just one more page. I want to um, share an important news with you because in two weeks, uh, Computex will be held and Avantech, of course, this time will participate in this very important event. On, fifth, uh, on May 19th, we will hold a forum at the CPC building 
And from May 20th to 23rd, we will have exhibition in Nangang Exhibition Center, both Hall 1 and Hall 2. And on May 21st, we will also present at the Computex Forum. So please come visit us. Thank you.